All right, so we went to defending the head. Now we got to defend that body. Uh, as the Wu Tang says, always got to protect that neck and everything under and above and around it. So, right now, we got Jamie here trying to give me that body shot. Same thing, but again, when you do this block right, you're always going to be loading the next shot. He, I defend here, bop, come right back, and I just clip. And it's a speed game. What you do is he, little trick is he hits me. I just bounce right back with that hook. It's a, it's almost a ricochet. I want a ricochet because again, like we're going to talk about this. Am I geek out about this, guys? I got to beat Jamie to the next punch. If I'm too slow on the counter, pop, pop, yes, he beat me. He checked my chin first because that's it. Who can hit who first? Uh, especially in the more skilled fighters, it's those exchanges in the middle. That's why. What makes the Floyd Mayweather's of the world, the the the, the Canelo's, they, they're special in that exchange range. And, and that's by studying those guys, I, I implement that into all my, my fighting arts that I coach. I coach Muay Thai, I coach kickboxing, and I coach MMA. And I implement the, the sweet science a lot. Because like I said, if I look to wind up and hit hard, it's boom, too late. And worst case scenario, if we're in the Muay Thai world or MMA world, he got the elbow made there, and I don't want to get elbowed there. Um, I'm very blessed. Knock on wood, 20 years of fighting, I never got kicked, kneed, or elbowed in the head. Now, let's keep it that way. I've only been punched, and I like it that way. I don't need my brain scrambled any more than they are. That being said, now we run the magic here. It's boom, 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 boom. That's where you fire back. And that's what you want to practice as you get in more higher level. Once you win this simple drill, Start letting it fast break. Boom, I passed his guard. Bang. Because that's what it's like. I want to pass his guard there. I want to, he shoots at me, boom, beat him to the next punch. Because now there's an opportunity to pour the coals on him. Because when I stuff him, bop, 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 that's when I can jump on him and go get him. And that's key. It's not only just defending, it's cracking back, hitting again, and hitting again. That's where my striking becomes my defense. The more I hit Jamie, the harder it is for Jamie to hit back at me. <laughs> so again, excuse me, gang. We go with the lefty defense. Same thing. There's a couple more options. Let's play it on this side, will you, Jamie? Thanks, sorry about that, everybody. Right. Little musical chairs. <laughs> so as he's going body shot, it gets a little fun. I can go with what I like to call the shark hook to the face. Or if you know that he's trying to go body with you, bang, I can go body back as well. Same thing, but again, it's all beating that to the punch. You can see, I don't pull my hand back. I don't wind up. As he's hitting at me, I don't wanna wind up. They hit, boom, exactly. It's winning the space, that's all. I, so, or like I said, as he body shots, bop, boom, the short straight. Because here's the thing, usually if they're body shotting, they're gonna be a little closer to me too, gang. So the other one I have here, can he, he body shots at me, boom, elbow as well. No matter which one I do, let's run it. Because what I wanna do by stuffing the body shot, he tries to punch there, boom, he tries to punch there, he tries to punch there, he tries to punch. See, I, I control the middle. That's why I keep the shots down the middle a lot too. That way he's forced to circle and go out. And when you keep the shots down the middle, you're gonna start landing elbows. There was a fight uh, where Gerald Mearshart fought a Polish guy, and he did this a lot, and he landed a lot of elbows until he submitted him. If you don't know who Gerald Mearshart is, he's coming out with a new product on BJJ Fanatics, his combat grappling system. He's won the most fights by submission in the UFC middleweight division, but he's a hell of an all-around fighter, or by his ability to all-around fight, leads to him getting the most submissions. That being said, like I said, as they crack back, boom, 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 boom. See how small I punch there? Another thing to remember, if I'm in a small spot, I can't throw big. I gotta punch small, elbow small. See, if we're close, punch, 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 punch. They're not big punches, they're small. They're aggressive. I get power from my wrist shot, wrist shot, wrist shot, wrist shot, wrist shot, wrist shot, wrist shot and hit. So that's the thing. Small space, small strike. Big space, big strike. And that's what we're gonna learn as we go on with this product today. I wanna go deep in on 
a lot of micro details of fighting. And I don't think I've covered these as much in some of my other products. So I hope this is kind of a gateway today for you to really get into the, the, the crazy mind of Duke Rufus and all the, the great coaches I've had. But like I said, it's just winning those exchanges. When we win the exchange, we win the fight. 